So finding top products that are selling well on Etsy is going to be the pathway of your Etsy success. However, if you're looking at best sellers only to determine your design process, you might be late to the game of the design that's selling well. So in today's video, I'll share with you an easy way to find these top trending products so that you know every time you design a product, it is based upon a high level of demand. I'll share this all with you coming up next. Welcome back to the video, my friends. My name is Jay, and in today's video, we're going deeper into Everbee and looking at a specific metric. I believe is probably one of the most important metrics to look at if you are trying to find top trends. So with that's being said, let's go ahead and jump into my computer. All right, so the first thing I like to do is go in here and search up broad. So in our case today, I'll just search up Mama Tumblr, and this could be done for any you know category you want to sell on. So I put here Mama Tumblr, and from here, if I do want to focus on a actual Tumblr, I see those things happening here. I go to the product analytics tool, and from here, I would like to see, you know, what could be a possible trending product. Now, again, typically people will go to, you know, monthly sales and they'll see how many things are sold for the month. But as you can see here, this kind of gets out of the actual search phrase that you're typing in. So again, here is not necessarily showing the Mama Tumblr like I like. So I definitely want this to be focused on revealing to me what type of Tumblr is selling well. But when I go into this, I like to instead go to the actual favorites because again, the goal here is to get above the, the actual trend or at least spot some items that are selling well in the past you know, 30 days of being listed. So again, if they're listed within the first month or second month or third month and they're gaining some sales and some high level of favorites, that's gonna give me an indication of what they're doing here. So I like to go to listing age and do this from highest to lowest. And I like to keep two things in mind here. I want to look at the actual favorite count, the listing age and the total amount of sales. Again, if I'm trying to find a top trend early on, I'm not concerned about the level of sales it's just getting per month, because again, it takes a little while for Etsy to register on every side to actually showcase what a sale is. But I can look at the level of favorites to determine if a item is going to blow up in sales. So I share with you what I mean by here. So I go down to listing age here, I see first month, first month. But notice how this one here, obviously this is outside of our category, but this is still a great example. Notice here, this has again, you know, one month old, could be 28 days old, it could be three days old, doesn't give us that indication, but it's in within the month and it has over 5,000 favorites. However, if you look over to the total sales, it says 300, but I can guarantee you this is getting more than 300 sales. Again, I noticed getting more than 300 sales because 326 people bought this in the last 24 hours. Now. Obviously, this is outside of our category. You know, we're focusing on tumblers, but this does give you that indication to let you know that you got to find these top trends by looking at favorites to determine what type of product is actually gaining sales. Now, that being said, I can head back over here and obviously find one that fits into my niche. So I see this one done here again, one month old, 320 sales or 320 favorites. If I look at the total sales here, it will say zero. Now, if you look at this, you will say, oh, wait a minute, it's not getting any sales. Then obviously, this is not something I want to target. Well, if you're only looking at total sales and even if, and even if you would go to monthly sales, it would say zero. This would be something if you were just using those metrics alone, that would be out of your radar. However, I think this should be highly in your radar because of this favorite count here in the listing age. And what I mean by this is that when I open this up, it will show you that this is actually a demanding product. 164 people bought this in the last 24 hours. However, if you were to look at this, from everby side and you would see this just saying zero reviews zero total sales zero monthly sales this would not be a targeted product but again because this product has been so early released again within the month it could have been four days could be 28 days it could be 13 days it's going to take time for that data to breach over from etsy over into everby but what everby does give us which i think is a huge factor here it does give us that immediate favorite count in which we are able to make that determination and as you can see here this is doing extremely well 164 sales in the last 24 hours which is outstanding and amazing and again we would have missed this if we were looking at those two metrics the monthly sales and total sales so here again is another product here this product here as you can see one month old again we have some sale count here because obviously this is around a little bit longer than our original listing here. But if we are just looking at the listing age in the favorites alone, again, what gives me a hyper focus here is the favorite count is extremely high. And again, if I were to open this up in Etsy itself, 
you will see here as well 35 people bought this in the last 24 hours of course it's been around for a while but the same process is still the same uh, so if you do want to be ahead of that trend and actually see some products that's selling well you got to look at that favorite crowd in order for you to determine which ones are worth your time now i think all these are worth your time because again 340 plus sales in the last 30 days is not that bad at all and again we can always bridge this over into a different category as I often times told you if this is doing well in the you know tumbler niche or the 40 ounce tumbler niche then we can take this over to the pillow niche or the pillow category we can take this over into the mug category we can take this over into the digital planner category a lot of opportunities here for you to take high demanding designs and bridge them over into other categories that you can do just as well here so one last option for review we can go down here as well and again i see this one here two months old 643 favorites again it's been around for at least a month or a month plus open this up here 23 people bought us in the last 24 hours so this is a great way for you to find high demanding products that has been recently released so you know exactly what type of products to target and even if you are not selling mugs or tumblers or what have you the same process still applies for whatever category you're selling in finding those top trends early on by identifying the listing age as well as the level of favorites is going to help you get to those demanding products that can turn out to be amazing sales for your listing so as you can see finding these top trends is really easy to do once you know the metric you want to focus on that will actually help you identify top trends that are going to blow up in sales and if you're not sure of how to get started with your own etsy shop i have created a free etsy starter course where i share with you everything you need to do to get started with etsy right now listing your first product online so if you want to check out my free course then check out my link down below and if you like content like this and if this video was helpful in any way let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video